As part of our ink video series, we're talking today about alcohol inks. Although you can find them from different brands, we're focusing today on alcohol inks by Ranger, with which you can create great effects for cards, tags, album pages or layouts. For sure, you will have a great time experimenting with them. Let's take a look at them. Alcohol inks are solvent-based inks, translucent and dry fast. There are different lines of alcohol-based inks, such as metallic or the alcohol pearl line. These are not as fluid as the regular ones and you'll notice some difference while working with them. Please remember that these inks stain a lot, so we recommend you working on an easy-to-clean surface and in a well-ventilated room. It's important to know that they work on non-porous surfaces such as glass, metal, plastic or special papers. Otherwise, the paper or material will absorb the pigment, so it could be impossible to make those characteristic designs. Ranger offers various surfaces on which to use the alcohol inks, although today we are going to use the most popular one, UPO paper. It is a matte finish paper, non-porous. Many people also use photographic paper, but as it is not a specific paper for these inks, you will not get as good results as with UPO paper. These are some other materials you'll need. The alcohol blending solution is perfect to spread inks and make mixtures much more fluid and beautiful. The difference with the isopropyl alcohol is that this one contains a resin that helps the ink to spread over the paper without removing it from the surface. With a heat gun, you can dry the ink quickly to create different layers of color and obtain that special marbling effect and be careful not to get too close to the paper or overheat the area. If you use a blower, you'll have more control over the ink movement, so you can create effects easily. Moreover, you'll avoid using a straw. It's time now to see how these inks work. To start creating, add some drops and blending solution so the ink flows better with the help of the blower. You'll get better results if you press only a little and place it in an angular position. This way, the ink will spread smoothly, although this will always depend on the effect you want to achieve. The result you'll get is unpredictable. It's quite difficult to get the exact design you've planned, so the best thing you can do is to enjoy the process and let yourself go. You can also mix different colors. You can do it when the ink is completely dry or while the ink is still wet and you'll get different results. Even if the ink is dry, you can't apply the blending solution and the ink will react again. You can even create some cool effects if you splash some alcohol with a brush. And metallic inks will add a special touch to your projects. Before applying it, shake the bottle well to integrate the metallic particles and you will create these marvelling effects with the alloy inks. The same thing happens with the alcohol ink pearls, which also need to be shaken as the pigment settles on the bottom of the bottle. The difference between these inks and the normal ones is that they have a shiny pearly finish. The alcohol inks are so versatile that allow you to combine with other techniques, for example, embossing. Emboss as usual and the embossing itself will create a kind of resistance to the alcohol inks so the embossed design will be completely free of alcohol inks. We recommend using a white embossing powder so that the design stands out much more against the background.
Now with these designs you can make cards, tags or use them to create die cuts or alphabets to make a project stand out. As you can see, alcohol-based inks allow you to experiment and combine several techniques to obtain different results. You can find a link to a post with more alcohol inks techniques in the description box. We hope you like these inks and that you are inspired now to create with them. We have taught you the basics, but now you can experiment and let your imagination run wild. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can leave them in the comments. And see you in the next video.